Red Dead Online has recently released as a standalone game, and seeing as I have never played the online portion, I thought I would give it a go. As you boot it up, you create your dirty prisoner character and are then immediately busted out by Mrs Leclerc, a woman looking for revenge on the people who put you in prison because they killed her husband. Obviously the characters are not as richly written as they are in the main game, but they still do their job with great voice acting and the missions themselves are very entertaining. Depending on your morality, you can take two different different paths, but Mrs Leclerc's revenge missions stay the same. I would say the dishonourable side is more fun, you get to rob a bank, train, carriage, and just in general be a naughty boy. Though weirdly, you can do none of that in the open world besides those missions, which is weird. I mean the best part of GTA Online is the heist, and the main game is all about robbing, so why not let us do it co-op online? There is plenty of co-op stuff to do if you buy the roles. Bounty hunting is good, it plays exactly like it does in the main game, but the legend Legendary bounties offer a bit more depth, with you having to organise ambushes or using stealth to get the drop on them. The collector role is good for people who want to explore Red Dead's gorgeous world, it's pretty self explanatory, you collect rare items in sets which you can then sell for a lot of money. Not done naturist yet, I can't afford it. In the trader role you have to hunt animals to collect resources and then deliver the products your boy Crips makes to customers whilst fending off bandits or other players. And Moonshiner is pretty much the same except you're scrapping revenue agents who are right bastards that can nail you with a rusty revolver from about a mile away so bring some mates if you want to get through these missions. There's also some story missions attached to it as well which are rock hard. So you also have the PvP elements of Red Dead Online and they are total garbage. Everyone has auto aim so it's a case of who locks onto who first. And if you don't have the paint it black ability equipped you might as well shoot yourself in the head over over and over again. Red Dead shooting mechanics and controls just don't suit PvP. If a player attacks your wagon and destroys your stock, they barely get rewarded for it, and if you kill them, they respawn in seconds right near you again. So it's just there to let people be pricks. Yes, you can use defensive mode so people can't lock onto you, but that doesn't stop them chucking some dynamite or a firebomb at your stock. You can do player bounties as well, and these are crap too. Me and a friend tied up a dirty crim player, took him to the police station, only to be rewarded $3 each, and then the twat just spawned outside the police station seconds later. Would be much better if these arsehole players got punished more for being caught, like being put in prison for half an hour, and it actually being somewhat rewarding for bounty hunters. You might think the dedicated PvP modes would be much better, but no, shite. Dive shoot, dive shoot, dive shoot is the extent of it and high ranking players who have access to the tank tonics can take much more damage to bring down, great balance in there Rockstar. And the horse racing is nowhere near as exciting as a car race, and players who again are high rank with loads of money have much better horses and saddles, again, nice balancing Rockstar. Red Dead Online is at its best when it's a PvE game, not only is it more varied in its PvE content, the mechanics suit it a hell of a lot more. All the immersive touches like getting levered in the saloon with your mates and taking care of your horse really make the world feel more alive until another player comes along and ruins it. Oh yes, give people the chance to be a dickhead and they will. Players in the open world will open fire at you for no reason, and if not that they will follow you around in emote constantly. It's annoying, and I've become part of the problem now, I trust other players so little now that I open fire at them before they can. It should be said as well that rewards for pretty much anything in this game are really stingy, both dollars and gold wise, almost like they want you to buy the microtransactions. Oh yes, gold can be used to buy rolls or as a substitute for dollars, and some items can only be bought with gold like gun metals and certain hairstyles, so there's a nice pay to win element there. I managed to get the bounty hunter license, collector license and trade art all for free from Twitch Prime, and I don't know if one of them might have been free on Playstation. The game at the moment is only a fiver, so it's not too much to ask to put in a bit more for the rolls considering how much time you can get out of them, but if you don't want to put any money in, one, it's going to be a grind and a half, and two, it will get 
boring quick. The story missions don't last long as they haven't finished it yet and the PvP is garbage so the only thing to do is the stranger missions. Problems from the main game also leak into the online, the main one being the clunky controls. Change your sprint and jog to L3 and thank me later. The horse controls like arse too. Why when I get up to speed on my horse and then aim and shoot does it just randomly slow down? As does your character when you're on foot, it's just not convenient to play. It feels really heavy is what I'm trying to say. It's a game that's so obsessed with its realism over making it feel good to play. It's a shame because in the PvE elements there is a great game in Red Dead Online but with an open world that allows players to be arseholes and almost encourages it with no punishment, shit PvP options and what feels like an overall lack of direction from the developers. Like I said, the story isn't finished and the PvP is shy, they should just focus on improving the PvE content, it's just not there yet. And there's so many little things Rockstar could do to make this game better. Private lobbies to avoid all the arseholes, better balancing all round bigger reward payouts and make stuff less expensive, but they won't do that because it would make the micropayments less enticing. And making money on the microtransactions is more important than making a quality product, so Red Dead Online can fuck off. It will have content added to it, sure, but it won't be fixed in the way most people want it to. It will just cater to the toxic wankers that populate this game. Could be good, but it isn't really at the moment, and it won't ever be. It's a perfect example of making money coming first over making a good game, like so many others. It is right.